accident. All right. Oh. Gonna be okay? Yeah, yeah. Been through us. Just need to rest. All right. Hey, Seth. Check it out. Got some smoking fresh Nazi battle robots for you. Big opportunity for some very important scientific research and so forth. Hey! Who's? Oh! Shoshana, look who's here, Mr. Shimshin Blaskovich. What have you done to me, Yinkala? What have you done? I've been so absorbed with this artifact you brought into my attention. Absorbed and angry! You see, the Dasyichet engineers that made it called it the God Key, a term that only a complete and utter schmuck would accept it at face value because first, it's not a key. I mean, I, I don't see a key here. More important, its actual purpose, I don't know what its actual purpose is! Makes me very angry! <sighs> All right. Carry them. Top secret encrypted information. That is what Signorina Sigrun say. Mm -mm, I don't trust that Nazi girl. Va bene, but if she's right. Oh, William, I wish we could spend some time alone, but we're so close to New Orleans. I just hope it's not too late. The girl is proud. Mostly I like her, but the information. Should check out this Enigma machine everyone's so jazzed up about. Slaughtering everyone, burning everything. These poor, poor people. Hey, Gabriella. Propaganda broadcast. Did you trace the signal? Yes, the signal operators trace it to a transmission station in Florida. Said say they're adding images into television broadcasts that are so short, you don't know you have seen them. Say they affect the mind subconsciously. Subconsciously. Yes, that's what I say. I speak to you, please, Mr. Plaskovic, as writer. I have habit of observing people. I have observed our friend Max. I see big sadness inside of him. Whatever we can do to help him is good. I know Max has love of toys. Maybe you keep eye open for toys when you're out fighting Nazis? Please, do this for Max, Mr. Blaskovich. Good to see you, mister. Grace! Grace! This motherfucker don't wait, Abby, or I'll break your idiot neck! I got you, the New Orleans dossier. I'm sorry. It's just that it took me hours to put her down. Okay, let's roll. In other news, the Minister of Public Security, General Engel, has resolved to clean up the streets of America from, quote, all criminal and terrorist elements. Der Terroranschlag auf Roosevelt war ein Weckruf für das amerikanische Volk. 
Now, this man has important connections to the remaining fragments of the resistance all over the USO Blazkowicz. I need you to go in there and recruit this man to our cause, you dig? However, this shit ain't gonna be easy. Nazis got this great fucking wall all around New Orleans. Heavily armed guard towers, and the coastline is riddled with mines. Impossible for the U-boat to navigate. But you know what? Fuck them anyway. Because we got something else. I'm sorry, did you need this boat? Yes, motherfucker. <clears throat> Tell me what to shoot, Grace. You and Fergus will break into the East Perimeter Security Tower located there in Lake Bourne. Deactivate the mines obstructing the channel to Lake Pontchartrain. Then, we sail this boat into the city and bring all surviving souls on board. is counting on us, my brothers and sisters. it to the other side of the Great Wall. Look for any kind of opening that will grant you passage to the inside of the wall. Hey, Blasco. Not seen a living civilian from up here since we arrived. Now, on the other hand, there's an overabundance of Nazis. Hope you have better luck finding survivors. Fergus out.
Blaskowitz, head for the old American bank building. That's where Horton and his group should be holed up. Find them. Persuade them to join our cause. The American bank. What's a dollar worth these days?
big easy. Can't undo your tragedy. But I can punish the people responsible. Detainees, inspection day is here. Officers will inspect you for lies and disease symptoms on behalf of the Ministry of Your Health. This is for your own benefit. Please comply with the officers or you will receive free food and water. Have a nice day. Shortcut through this building.
Offenheit, Männer! to the other side. Maybe I can make use of that overhead crane. William, we are moving on from the tower now. Mines are disabled. And Fergus was scouting ahead. <sighs> Just had a big fight with the Nazis. Barely made it. William? Don't know if this is normal, but... I think the pregnancy is making me a little... Uh, <laughs> you know, excited. <coughs> oh, God, is everyone listening in on this frequency? Yes. Yes. Max Hoss.
Looks like I gotta blast my way out.
Sounds like someone is putting up a fight.
Go on, son. Take my hand. You a preacher? No, this. Lord, Lord, I picked these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz? Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts, apart from saving our sorry asses? I'm with the Chrysal Circle, and we're starting a revolution. Are you now? Now this here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers, spreading all over the South and yonder. Oh, we be the outcasts, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting himself a drink, that's my old time friend, Paris Jack. A Paris Jack is a brawler, a cutter, a true believing anarchist, and a hell of a clarin. on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's... Wait. Yes. Streets are quiet. Now that's the professor. She got them eyes, can see a speck of dirt in the cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty son bitches coming here, we gonna shoot their asses out, I tell you what. Going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You got a lot of good people here. You should join us. We could always use more good people. Well, how you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kind of told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the Crossout Circle, walking legend. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. Do you mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my ma always said, never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, sit there, Billy, and drink up. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton special. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the Vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start build a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terry Billy? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street. It was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. It worked their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they draft people like you for their dirty work while they's watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of cantankerous men in marble mansions. Well, I see through that shit and decided not to be a party to it. And yet here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. Difference is you come late to the party. Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear, we'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, Horton, and they'll lead right through it. This'll get you drunk, Terry Billy, you upstanding lackey of the establishment, Jake. <clears throat> Listen, pal, I ain't got time for your horse shit. You gotta make the call. Give up and die or step the fuck up. I ain't want to argue with you, Terry Billy. You're too tired to fight. You tired? Man, fuck you! I got kids on the way! And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes! So what's it gonna be, you hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors? Lord, Lord, ain't never seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot old holding special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right. Let's start this revolution. Hit it. Paris has been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. 
How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pull some wires, that about it. He's a quick learner, Paris. Always figures out what's what. So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. There you go, just mind the temper. Horton, you better get up here. Nazis swarming in like flies on shit. Check, check. All set there, Billy. Now get! See what this puppy can do.
too damn big. Anya, come in, Anya. Do you read? William, I read you. What's happening? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... Ah, fine. <coughs> I'm trying to regroup with Fergus. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in, and we are on our way to Lakeview District. Well, listen, don't do anything reckless. You stay safe. I'll be fine. Anya out. Horton, what's your status? Round up the last of the people and fixing to leave. Now make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down dearly. Wager I can get their attention. Bit, but these Nazis keep coming like torrential diarrhea! Terrible! 
We met up with your people on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. That ride of yours better get here soon, because we won't hold out much longer. Hey, Conrad, you up and went on a tropical cruise with our boat? The Nazis are fucking killing us here! Fergus, I read. Sorry, it's being held up. Working to resolve the problem. Keep doing what you're doing, Anya! If we're going down, we're going down fighting! Grace! We need evacuation now! Jesus Christ, Grace, that was close. You're still a Conrag, mind you, but you're the most lovable Conrag I've ever laid eyes on. Fergus, Anya, help everyone get on board the U-boat. The Nazis will regroup and attack. Hurry up. Laskowitz, get your ass up on the Lakeview apartment building roof and climb on board the U-boat. We've spotted the Altsmerzer on the radar. It'll be here any minute. Haul ass. Should get to work on upgrading my weapons.
Blazkowicz, all of the evacuees are on board, but we can't leave. Props are stuck in the mud. We're stranded. And the outsmercer is incoming. If it gets here before we bail, we are fucked. I say it's time to ready the nuclear cannon. What are you talking about, Fergus? I figure the shockwave from the atom bomb could push the boat out to sea. Now that's the stupidest fucking plan I have ever heard. Set. Well, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Blazkowicz, hop on the nuclear cannon and fire it to maximum distance. I just hope it's far enough away from us not to rupture the hull. Got it. Looks like the Alsmercy lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope? For our angle, commands it now. Using it to hunt terrorists. But in the way back, the Alsmercy would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. Now, if we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Alsmercy would swoop in, put an end to it, break and say hell's bells. Are we gonna start this revolution? We need to put an end to the Alsmercy firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack. Conquer the Ausmercer and use it against the Nazis. Well, the Ausmers is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. We'll hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. Sounds like your basic Nazi military facility infill. I'll break into the Oberkommando and steal the information off their uh, computing machines. Not a problem. Except for the fact that the Uber Commando is now on fucking planet Venus. Venus? Ever since you obliterated the Uber Commando at Roswell with that nuclear bloody warhead, the Nazis have been trying to shove the shite back into the horse. So, they moved the Uber Commando to another fucking planet to keep it away from us. All of their top brass, all their top military secrets have been moved to a fully secured base on Venus. Venus. There is no way you are making it to Venus, sunshine. I don't care how mighty your arsenal or how much fucking manpower. There is not a hope in hell you can bypass all that security. Yeah? Not with that attitude. Except maybe there is. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terrabilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown of Needles, California. What you thinking, Anya? William and I are going for milkshakes. His papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi fella? <laughs> Can't even tell no more. How I look? Like a walrus. Don't forget your luggage. Remember, you are Jules Redfield, professional actor. Traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned by personal invitation, so security should be minimal. Break a leg. Mr. Redfield? Mr. Hughes Redfield? 
Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, that, that's me. I'm Helena, the director of this film. Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. Oh, uh, my, my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Come, come. Welcome. Welcome to the audition, Mr. Redfield. Now that you're